hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel this is the bell makeovers today i'll be showing you how i edit my instagram pictures the first thing you want to do is to go to your app store on your iphone and download the facetune 2 app if you don't have it there's the regular facetune i'll be showing you now and there is also facetune 2 i use facetune 2 app since i already have the app on my phone it's saying that i should update it because i need to update but I'm not doing that at the moment so i'll be going right into the app now so we can get started once you open the app it will display the different sections of pictures that you have on your phone and you can select the one that you want to edit so i selected the one i want to edit right now and we are going to start editing it so the first thing i always do whenever i want to edit my pictures is to blow out the background sometimes the background might be clear it might be plain just like this picture but sometimes it will be really busy there there might be a lot of activities going on at the background and you want your subject to be the focus of the picture that you are you have edited so i normally blow the background you can actually do auto so you go to the focus on your facetune 2 app you can choose auto it will automatically blow out the background but i don't like to use this because sometimes it blows out parts of the main subject as well it can blow out your hair the your edges the edges of your outfit and all that so i like to and um, blow out the picture the background rather manually by myself so that's what i'm doing i'm zooming in and i'm blurring out the edges of the hair at the moment i'm i'm blurring out the background by myself so i'm going to do that all over you just smooth your hand over what you want to blow out and um, you can see the slider in the middle so the slider can help you to increase the intensity or reduce the intensity the slider is common to every um, feature you choose to use in the app it helps to increase or reduce the intensity and that is the major reason why i prefer this facetune to to the regular facetune app for the regular facetune app I, i'm not sure there's a place where you can adjust the intensity so the next thing i want to do is to brighten or whiten the eyes this helps your eye details to pop more that's your eyeshadow your contact lens if you have any on so it helps them to become more prominent when the eyes are whitened. So I go to eyes on the Facetune 2 app. When you open it, you see details, color, lens, reflection, and a whole um, lot more. So I select um, whiting and I move the slider. Can you see? Then I'll compare it with what I have before and I'll save. The next thing I want to do is to pop the eyeshadow. I just want to make the color of the eyeshadow a bit brighter than it is so what i'm going to do is to go to paint and i'm going to select the color closest to the eyeshadow that i used can you see the color i selected by the right sometimes if i want the exact color i just press picker and i move the slider or will i say the cursor over the color i choose to select so it will pick the color for me can you see what it did now so i'm going to use that color now all over so i went to tone tone gives you a more intense color the skin works with your skin type while tone delivers the true color for you so i'm just sliding my hand over her eyes to to paint the color there then i'm going to use the slider to reduce the intensity to what i want that's basically the step you follow for every eyeshadow blush lipstick application the next thing i want to do now is to darken the eyeliner so i want to make the black eyeliner more intense i'll go to tone and i'll select the color black so moving my hand my finger over where i want the black to stay just on the eyeliner i'll apply the um, I'll move my finger all over the eyeliner and also the lashes so that they can all be uniform so as usual when I finish I'm going to move the slider to control the intensity to what I like 
The next thing I want to do is to brighten under her eyes, similar to highlighting. So I'm going to go to my paint as usual. This paint is very important to me. And yes, I need to mention the paint is only available in the paid version. So just like I said earlier, I'll select a color very close to the area I intend to brighten and I'll slide my finger over it till I get that desired brightness. Then I use the slider to adjust to either increase the intensity or reduce the intensity, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm checking what I've done. When I'm done with that, I'll move to paint again and do the same thing for blush. So I'm going to select a color close to the blush color I used initially and I'm going to apply it where the blush is going to be and I will use this slider to reduce the intensity till it's okay. The next thing I'll be doing is to add some details to the eyebrows. So I'll go to retouch and um, go to details. So I'm going to slide my finger over the eyebrows and then I'm going to use the slider to reduce the intensity till I'm satisfied. You can do this for your eyelashes as well. Next, I'm going to be smoothening the skin. So I'll go to retouch and I'll select smooth. There's also the option of smoother, but that's too much for me. I only use the smooth. So I slide my finger on every part of the skin that I feel is not smooth enough like the sides of the nose basically anywhere I can see any harsh lines so I smooth my fingers all over the areas I need to smooth in and I use the slider to adjust it to make sure that it's not too much if you over smooth your pictures it's going to start looking plastic you want to still be able to see the skin so try not to over smooth your pictures one thing I will say is that the Facetune 2 app is full of so many possibilities the features are endless if you know how to use them well so i will say when you download this app try to um, play around with it you know you can learn so much more even more than what you are learning from here now it can also be a money-making venture for you so um just play with the app play with all the features i'm sure you will discover so many many more amazing things you can achieve with it so that's the progress so far. You can see how far we've come from the beginning. Next, I went to matte under retouch and I applied that on her forehead because it was too shiny for my liking. So I mattified it a bit and I used the slider to adjust it to my taste. Then I went to glow. I wanted her nose to, a bit sh to be a bit more shinier than it is. If you understand what I'm saying, so I went to glow. Glow is also under retouch, and um, I lightly tapped on the areas that are shiny already. Please don't make a mistake. The areas are already shiny, so I just tapped a bit on them to um, intensify them. And then I went back to paint. I went to skin this time around, and I selected a very light color and ran it over where the lip gloss is reflecting light on our cupid's bow and at the center of our lips just to brighten it a bit more heal is another feature i would like to talk about it's under retouch you can use it to remove any small blemish that you have you know like pimples spots and those kind of things that i'm using it to remove some tiny spots on her chest another important feature i would like to talk about is the edit feature under it we have the brightness contrast color sharpen and lots more so you can use it to adjust the pictures you can see i'm adjusting the i've adjusted the brightness the i've sharpened it a bit more I've, i'm adding more color you can do a whole lot with this so this is like um finishing touches to my pictures so now i'm just checking the before and the after of my work to see if i'm satisfied before going ahead to post it on instagram so i'll save and go to instagram to post it so the first thing i do when i get to instagram is to edit from the edit you see the adjust option that's what i use to crop the picture to the size i want then the other features i use are the contrast the saturation the color the sharpen sometimes vignettes and um, once i'm satisfied with what i have i post my picture you can ask any question on what you don't understand in the comment section if you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel please thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye